Hey guys, we are here back in the good old town of Round Top, Texas. It's October 2022 and we have been at the market and I have a wonderful person to introduce you to. This is Paige Hull. Paige and her husband Smoot own the Vintage Round Top, which is this beautiful property behind me. If you're coming to Round Top, this is where you stay. So we're gonna do a walkthrough and a tour and I wanna hear about your property and I also want you as an expert to share tips about this mysterious little town called Round Top that we know you're all here to hear tips about. So Paige, thank you for being here today. You're so welcome, thank you for being here. Yeah, I'm so, we stayed, we stayed in your property and it's absolutely magical. So kind of give me like an overview of what the vintage Round Top is about and how big it is and where you're located. Okay, well we are in the middle of the action. There are about nine shows that surround us. We've been here for 10 years. We have four cottages, two 2,000 square feet cottages, and then two studios. So the property was developed to share with others for either just getaways, for events, retreats, and we absolutely love it. It's perfect, and you can book online. And let me tell y'all real quick why we're doing this. We look like newscasters. <laughs> Live, coming to you live from Round Top. We forgot a little bitty wire. We have toddlers, so please forgive us. We caught, forgot a little wire, so this is our microphone today, and we're just owning it. Yeah, we're, we're like doing journalists. It. Yeah? yeah. Should we go inside? Let's do. Let's Come do, on. Let's do it. So this is the boho. This is the boho. Okay, I want to tell you like as a guest for design things that I saw that I love and I want to hear like a little bit of details about them. Okay. But before that, I want to tell you guys that you have to stick around to the end of this video because Paige has, you've been in Round Top for a long time yeah. and she is a literal expert about this city and I know you're here to find out tips about Round Top so stay to the end to hear her ideas and, and thoughts on what to do and we'll talk about that so yes. stick around. So the boho, we stayed here. It's absolutely stunning. My whole team loved it. Thank you. We felt very at home and it was like two nights in a row just gathered around the fireplace. Mm. Um, the fireplace, it is so stunning. The material that you used on it is a, is something I want to talk about, but we're going to mm -hmm. save it till the next room because I okay. saw it again there. I love what you did with that. But my very favorite thing <laughs> that my team literally got tired of hearing me say was I, the floors are my favorite thing. They're gorgeous. Thank Will you. Will you tell me? You said you guys did them we yourself. We did. They look expensive. We did. Well, we couldn't afford. That was the, the way that this all happened is that we could not afford to buy Reclaim. And so we went to Lumber Liquidators. Oh, my God. Bought new new wood it's pine probably right it, it was yes because we wanted it to be soft because yeah. i was like oh you don't want this and we're like, no no we do <laughs> we want to bang it up and so our children my husband at the time was in a boot and so we were literally right out here and just banging this and getting it ready we all and i would love to to share some of these pictures with you of just how crazy all of this was because we set up in the field and did the stain, stained them before we actually laid them. Okay. And then I came in and every single board by hand, because I didn't want the paint uh -huh. to seep into where you're seeing yep. you know, some of the, exactly, some of the stain. And so we, we knew that this was going to be a place that had a lot of traffic mm -hmm. and we wanted to have people feel really comfortable when they're here, so. Which is sort of ironic because it's white. Yeah. So the immediate thought is, wow, that's a risky move yes. for a space that has revolving guests. But it totally works. And y'all, you said y'all did, you did chains to get yes. it to be, it, it honestly looks broken, like, like, um, reclaimed. It, it a hundred percent does. Yeah. I was astonished. And we said. did the, the sides as well. Smoot actually 
you know, had a, some contraptions mm -hmm. that he was able to get the sides of them to get chopped up. But then the, the rest of it, we, we really just used chains and anything that... I love it. <laughs> so on, we did that on Extreme Makeover with a four-wheeler and we put wood on the back of it. Yes. And like our carpenter just drove it around the property and let the wood just get beat up, which is so fun. Which is another story. That's the beauty of it. Exactly. I love that you chose wide plank. And also, do you mind telling us that, like about cost per square foot for this floor that you think you spent? Again, this was DIY. yeah, and this was five years ago, uh -huh. and so I think it was maybe two dollars and ten cents. So don't even you know, don't yeah. yeah, that's that. Those days are gone. Yeah, maybe maybe they'll come back, but they're absolutely stunning. And then the other thing that I noticed about them is that we have these like. The knots of the pine are mm -hmm. popping through with the brown color, and I know why it's doing that. It's because y'all didn't use a primer. Exactly. Well, and what we did is that we stained it with oil at first, and then came over with gloss. Don't do that. that what You should have done it with water-based? Probably so, yes. Yeah. That so oil-based items tend to discolor the wood sometimes. Like, they can make it feel yellow. But anyway, that was a good, that's something you would have done differently. Yes, absolutely. Okay. And the brown spots that are coming through are because they didn't get it get primed. So the wood starts coming back through the paint. Exactly. Which on this, it totally works. Exactly. And because so we were you happy. Want the imperfections. Now, when it first came, started happening, because it didn't happen for a while, mm -hmm. we were like, oh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Is this good or not good? Or, you know, yeah. and as it began to to come about, we were like, love it. That's yeah, exactly what we wanted. But if you had it on the floor, if you were doing shiplap on the wall, yes. you probably don't want these. We made that mistake in our tiny house, and so you prime it first. Totally agree. Okay. Well, all right, let's keep going. This room is absolutely stunning. It's wide open. It's beautiful. You have reclaimed pieces. I think number two, like, thing that I love about it is that you have all these little... Your, your phrase is uh, modernizing vintage, is that right? It is modern vintage. Modern vintage, yeah. okay. Yeah. And I feel like you've done that. And tell us about like sort of the, I think in the East Texas, we would call these knickknacks. Yes. What, <laughs> what are, tell me the story about how you curated this. So I had the amazing opportunity to be mentored by Tim and Carol Bolton out of Fredericksburg to be able to learn how to go to Europe and bring back merchandise. I love it. And so after that, we went as a family and all of these pieces up here, we found at different cities and towns and flea markets. And when we come as a family, those are our memories. We remember the exact vendor that we bought them from or the sandwich that we ate afterwards. I love and that. so, you know, for us, it, it is such a huge meaning, but then for our guests, they see these pieces and it's art and it's beautiful, but they have no idea, you know, in fact, my hair is standing up, yeah. you know, what it, it does to us when we walk in. Absolutely. And I feel like it's inspiration for people that are mm -hmm. shopping in Round Top because if there's one thing you know about Round Top, it, it's overwhelming. Like that's the word that everyone uses about this town is it's overwhelming. You see little things like this. You're like the wooden paintbrushes. Those mm -hmm. are so cool. But what would I, and you see them in buckets out here mm -hmm. that, you know, not everyone knows how to curate or what to do with that. It looks like a beautiful piece, but what do you do with it? And you've right. used it as art on your wall, which I just 100% love. And I love that it tells a story about your family. Well, and a lot of the lighting throughout the entire property, we did the same thing with where, you know, we, you can, certain things, the part of the modern vintage is that the modern, you know, really plays off of this unique, grungy, mm -hmm. you know, stuff. <laughs> but it can become something else and you know we're we're helping the the planet when we do that absolutely i love it so much so the third <laughs> thing the third thing that i loved in this this is the kitchen i absolutely love the brass countertops mm. These, I mean, right, I we came in with my team and I was like, oh, Katie, they have brass countertops. Um, tell me about them. Are you glad you did them? Were Love they expensive? Them. So we worked with Houston Metalworks okay. and they were incredible to work with. We made this as well with them. Cool. I still need to do the sleeve for um, the exhaust that I'm gonna be doing in. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's one of those things that you just, three years later are like, oh, yeah. I never got around to doing that. It looks but, fun. <laughs> 
Um, we had seen them in a restaurant uh-huh. and fell in love with them. And the, they're a living. Yeah. You know. It's unpolished or it's unlacquered. Unlacquered. And so you'll come in and this is here, but next time it won't be. It'll be something over here. Mm-hmm. And so I just love the tone and the feel and again the uniqueness mm-hmm. that it patinas now if i was doing it in my own home i probably would just because i'm crazy mm-hmm. but you know normally you probably wouldn't because of that if you have a lot you know going lacquer on. like I, lacquer versus not well like- no more just even you know using it okay. as your your main base uh-huh. unless you're okay with it see uh-huh. i love things imperfect. I love things that are changing. And so mm-hmm. if you're have that temperament, mm-hmm. you know, they're great. But if not, you know, it may be something to do on a space that's like a bar. Less or somewhere. Used. Mm-hmm. Yes. Exactly. We're designing a bar actually at Round Top and we're <laughs> looking at using brass. Ooh. And I would tell people, you know, the difference, some people don't even really know the difference in like lacquered brass mm-hmm. versus unlacquered brass. This is unlacquered, obviously, because you still see like all of the patina and the aging. Mm -hmm. If you do a lacquered brass, like it tends to hold more of the 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 sheen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks a little bit more polished, but it Mm -hmm. also just holds more a steady. But I think you have to continue lacquering it. So anyway, I love that you chose to do it patina, like the unlacquered, because I feel like it just goes with ground top, and and it's like everything's a story. Somebody left their you know wine glass right there. Exactly. Exactly. So my favorite thing about your kitchen was this. Thank you. Um, Okay, let's go see the primary, the primary bedroom. It's literally like an oasis. Also, your the bedding you chose is so good. So it's so comfortable. Well, and we made the bedding. You made the mm-hmm. bedding. All of it. You did. Mm-hmm. It's obviously linen, mm-hmm. Belgian linen. Mm-hmm. And you we, made all this. And all of that was this is vintage. The duvet. Skirt. Like, oh, the okay. The, just the the material, but we made all of it. Amazing. I, I'm like, you're so resourceful and, and you designed all this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're so talented. You. And then you have this, which I love that you <laughs> did shears. Mm-hmm. This whole, this whole thing is just magical because you're like, sometimes you just don't have space for a door mm-hmm. and you don't even have space for a barn door, which I've talked about on our channel that barn doors can save space, but the, the shears just add this layer of luxury to this. And, you know, we knew that we would have um, honeymooners as well. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, you yeah. can only imagine that you're... Uh-huh. Ta-da! <laughs> I love it. That's perfect. Yeah, okay, design-wise, in this room, this is my this is probably my last favorite thing. There's so many favorite things. But for this video, <laughs> you did the big trend that is the tub and the shower com- combined. Mm-hmm. And then you chose to use this material... Tell me about this because I I think for me in a, in our design taste it's constantly evolving that I'm kind of in certain areas getting tired of seeing a lot of tile with a lot of grout lines mm-hmm. and I mean it just is an extra thing to clean and so when I walked in here I was like man it feels so clean it feels so fresh and simple tell me about the material that you used it looks like concrete it does it's called microcrete microcrete and it's a combination of really plaster and cement but okay it's not as grainy as cement uh-huh. and it doesn't ha- but it, it also has a little bit of grit whereas plaster you know sometimes does not right and so that was the the goal was to have exactly what you just said was this really clean i thought it looked very modern mm-hmm. and i would look on Pinterest and see these showers and I was just like, oh, I want so that. But it wasn't here because this is five years old, Okay. but we built it. Um, it took a year and a half to build this property, to build it because we were flooded in our okay. own home in Cyprus. And yes. so, um, you know, even so now I guess it's been almost seven years uh-huh. that we did this and it was only made in Spain and um, Italy. Italy. Yeah. Yes. yes. 
but now it's it's more readily available in the states by different we worked with a company called Topcrete. Topcrete. Mm -hmm. Did they do that? So does it require a special installer? Yes. It's not a DIY. No. Yeah. Okay. It is definitely because this is oddly three to four coats. Oh. And so they it was a whole process. Wow. Yeah. And the color was a situation. They have a color board. Mm -hmm. It didn't look exactly like mm -hmm. it. So we had to <laughs> kind of make our own. I know you're but, <laughs> um, but really love it. We used it in our other shower and on the fireplace. It's so well done. I I treated myself <laughs> to a bath this morning. <gasps> it was so good. I was like, I don't have any toddlers to bother me. I can be <sighs> totally quiet. Isn't it? It's, and I love that you did the windows. I mean, the whole space is just so, it's so beautiful. Thank you. Well, that video got really long. There was <laughs> so much to show you. The design was so beautiful. Um, if you're looking for a place to stay in Round Top, you have to check them out. They're right in the middle of all the action. Paige and Smoot, incredible work. We mentioned in there that we were gonna give you Round Top tips. Well, we are gonna save that for another video. We're gonna post it closer to Round Top Market because I want you to get all of that insight. And um, we'll keep going there. So keep coming back for content. We love what we do. It is hard with toddlers. Um, but we're doing it and <laughs> we love y'all. Subscribe to Kim Lewis Designs YouTube channel, right y'all? <laughs> really? What do you You're think? Funny. I think they should. I think they should. No. They see you next time. Oh boy.